Okay, so this is Bedazzle's new litter, and we have Talk over there is a comparison with size. Now, Bedazzle had six kittens, but these are actually really big kittens. I mean, bigger than average. Just to give an indication, we're talking like as long as your hand. As long as your hand. These are really, really big kittens. She had a hard time pushing these suckers out. I'll tell you, each and every single one of these guys got stuck almost. All right, so these are the two silvers. Now, one of the things you're going to notice is that all the kittens have really good contrast. I mean, like, right away. Right out of the, right out of the box. Right out of the, you know, packaging, if you will. Beautiful spots. Normally, you don't get that kind of contrast right away. So you can see how this is going to break up. But you can see all those, you can see the white. I mean, look at that nice white contrast. It's not muddied at all. This is not easy doing this one-handed. And the same thing on this side. You can see it's very contrasted. Look at that. Beautiful. A lot of those are going to be donut rosettes. I can tell. A lot of those dark, dark spots are going to be donut rosettes. Now, another thing that's unique to Bedazzle, you can see the spots, is that even if these kittens have really dark backs, they do lighten up a lot. Like, they will show beautiful coloring in. You can see that the spots on the back are actually already breaking up, even at birth. Okay, so that's the Silver Boy one. Silver Boy 2 is right here. Silver Boy 2, also really big, beautiful spots. You can see. That looks like it might be a rib bar right there. It also might turn into a beautiful rosette. But you see that all just really big spots, really contrasted. You can see the white on the face, how we know they're silver, not brown. Turn turn this boy around. You can see he's got beautiful, he doesn't really look like he's got a rib bar here so much. There's the other side. You see all those beautiful spots. Very contrasted. And a lot of this will lighten up. In a brown kitten, a lot of times this black back will turn into a bronze. It will change into a bronze, but you can see the spots coming up. Very contrasted. I mean, they, they almost look like they have charcoal qualities, to be honest, just because of how dark they are. The black is really black. So this girl, this pretty girl here, is actually going to be a marble, which is why she's all almost all black. As she gets older, the black will lighten up. And reveal a swirling pattern. You can start to see on the side the swirling pattern is going to lighten up. So in the arms, you can see up high. You can see a little bit in the leg. Some of the swirling pattern already starting to, to be there. So this is a beautiful silver girl. Again, you can see what is going on over there, Talk. You can see the beautiful face. You need to not go with him. He's over here, please. Okay, so those are the silvers. So she had two silver boys, spotted boys, one silver marble girl. Now, let's go over to the minks. She had three minks. One's a girl. Two of them are boys. And again, one of the things you're going to notice is the contrast. This is a boy. Uh, let me see here. This is the boy. Okay, so this is the girl. I want you to see how beautiful this girl is. I mean, look at that. Spaced out, beautiful spots on her. I mean, you can see the spots on the back. The three launch, three stripes, but I can tell they're going to break up. Um, you can look how beautiful that is, though. Very contrasted. So that's my mink girl.
big rosettes. Okay, so let's look at Mink Boy number one. You see, also very contrasted. guys are literally only hours away from being born. And then we'll go with... They love to be in a pile, don't they? That's the girl. We need the boy. This is the last mink boy. Hey, get back here. Switch hands. Oh, he's hanging on to the... Got big spots here. And I still got some stuff on him after birth. You can see one, two, three, four, five, six. Six really big spots. Honestly, these guys look like spices kittens more. Just because of how big those spots are. As opposed to a bunch of like little tiny spots, you can see the umbilical cord. How you doing? So I did take a video of a couple of these kittens being born. The mink girl was the one that's the one I got the most shots of. You can see how big they are. Um, in contrast, a lot of bedaz I'm sorry, a lot of Saharas and Mystique's kittens when they're born, they're born with like a lot of really tiny spots, as opposed to a big, big ones like that. So here's the other male. So a little side by side comparison. A lot of promise. Right there. So all those big boom, 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 boom. Everywhere. Spots, spots, spots. Even this girl here. Spots, spots, spots. Look at that girl. Oh, poor left out girl. All right. We'll see more later.